So we can see more example in here. Uh, you can see that sodium hydroxide is at the extreme end of the basic. It is very basic. It can attack glass. That's why we usually store uh, uh, sodium chloride in a plastic container. Hydrochloric acid, on the other hand, is in, on the opposite extreme end. It is extremely acidic. And then in the middle, you have uh, water, pure water, pure water, tears. Human blood, I wanted to memorize this value. Human blood is actually not pH 7. I want you to memorize this value. Human blood is around um, pH, let me write it down. It's around pH 7.35 to 7.45. There's something that I want you to memorize because um, Because some of you wants to will continue to take uh, anatomy and physiology, so um, the pH of your blood is important to know. Our blood is or our body fluid in general is a little bit basic, it's slightly basic. And um, yeah, this is something that I want you to memorize. Let me highlight this to emphasize it. Human blood, 7.35 to 7.45. Okay. So um, we talked about exit ring last time, but I didn't talk about the normal uh, precipitation, meaning ring, normal ring is slightly acidic around pH 5 to 6 um, this is the normal range normal range of the ring. so at the beginning I mentioned about neutralization when you when you mix acid and base together they will neutralize each other and they will form salt uh, I will say uh, it's not good salt and water an example of course you can watch this YouTube video but the link may not work the an example a famous a uh, very common example is that if you have uh, HCl hydrochloric acid Remember, it is on the extreme end of acid. When you add it to the, when you mix hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide, which is on the extreme end of uh, base, you add these two together, what would you get? It is not a reversible reaction. It is a complete uh, reaction complete one-way reaction you will get salt which is our sodium chloride remember and water so this is an, a classic example of neutralization then what, what is buffer you know, uh, on the title of our lecture slides, we have exit, base, and buffer. What is buffer? Buffer is a substance that minimizes excess activity or alkalinity. I would say buffer is a solution that resists the, change, the changes of pH. It's a solution or substances that resist the changes of pH. You call this buffer. And the buffer reaction is usually reversible or incomplete. We will look at some example in the next few slices. Oh, by the way, what what is an example of buffer? Can you come up with an example of buffer? 
Well, the f uh, my favorite example to uh, all the classes is the uh, the uh, blood. Human blood is a buffer. Why human blood is a buffer? In human blood, we have something called bicarbonate ion. Our human blood contains something called bicarbonate ion. Bicarbonate ion, let me see if I can write it. Ion. Okay, good. Bicarbonate ion. This ion is the uh, major ion in our blood to contribute to the buffer, to, to make our blood become a buffer. pH is highly regulated to maintain homeostasis. How come our blood is a buffer? Because we want to maintain our blood at a certain uh, range. What is the range of our blood? Remember I told you to memorize 7.35 to 7.45. We want to maintain the pH of our blood at a, uh, uh, at a range, at a constant range, uh, so that chemical reaction can uh, continually and stably carry out in our blood, in our body. And the maintenance of the pH of our blood is an example of homeostasis as well. What if we have abnormal pH in the, in the blood? Well, if your blood is too acidic, we call it acid doses. If our blood is too basic, we call it alkalo alkalosis. alkalosis. So if, you, if it is too serious, both acidosis and alkalosis will cause coma. Respiratory system will actually call, will, will, will make you start to cough. But uh, for, um, uh, if you are too alkaline, if your blood is too basic, you will cause hand tremor or numbness. Too acidic will give you a headache. <laughs> Both of them will give you confusion. Confusion is like, well, very serious already. Uh, heart will uh, cause increase in heart rate. Muscle will cause seizure uh, if it is too acidic, but basic will cause, will cause twitching. So weakness, if it is too acidic, as opposed to spasm. Spasm meaning that your muscle will uh, keep, con keep on contracting continuously. We call it spasm. So um, muscle weakness is like the opposite of the spasm. And then both will cause you nausea and vomiting, both. It's okay. For this, you, uh, you don't need to memorize all of them. You don't need to memorize the symptoms of acidosis. You don't need to memorize the symptoms of alkalosis. I think that's, uh, I mean, if you, are, uh, uh, if you are a healthcare professional in nursing school taking pathology, then maybe you need to memorize all these symptoms. But since we are only bio 3, uh, uh, introduction to biology, many of you are uh, a GE uh, taking this class for satisfying general education requirement. That's why I don't require you to memorize all the symptoms here on this slide. So buffer. 
Well, this is a different definition. It's a chemical that keep pH within normal limit. Mm, well, I wouldn't like to say normal. I'll say uh, within a certain limit. Because different buffer will maintain the pH at a different value. So remember I told you that bicarbonate ion and then it gives you one more carbonic acid they are found in human blood they are the uh, constituent for uh, to maintain pH at around the 7.35 to 7.45 so remember two, two components in our blood one is bicarbonate ion, one is the uh, carbonic acid. They are the ones who, who, who are responsible for maintaining our, our pH, blood pH. So this is how they do it. Uh, if your, if, if you, your blood is too acidic, meaning that you have too much of the hydrogen ion in the blood, what happens is that uh, the hydrogen ion, excess hydrogen ion in the blood will react with bicarbonate ion. This is the bicarbonate ion to form carbonic acid molecule. On the other hand, if your if your blood p if your blood is too basic, that means you have too much of the hydroxide ion. What will happen? Excess hydroxide ion will react with carbonic acid. So it's like a neutralization reaction we talk about. You form a salt, depending on what kind of uh, base we have. For example, if it, is, uh, if it is a sodium hydroxide, then you have a sodium bicarbonate here. So you form a salt and you also form water. So this is a neutralization reaction. So how, how does our blood maintain the pH? Well, if you take my physiology, I'll go into details. But since it is just a bio three, I'll briefly talk about this. So our cell generates CO2. Uh, through something called cellular respiration that we'll talk about uh, in uh, one or two weeks later. And that's why we breathe in oxygen and breathe out CO2. We, we breathe out CO2 because our cell go through something called cellular respiration to make ATP and CO2 is like the byproduct. When our cell produces CO2 through cellular respiration, CO2 will dissolve in the here. We call this interstitial fluid, interstitial fluid, and the interstitial. And after this, the dissolved CO2 will go through the uh, blood vessels and go into the plasma. We call this plasma here. And then from plasma, the CO2 will dissolve into the inside of the uh, inside of the um, what we call a uh, red blood cell. When we go into the red blood cell, it will dissolve in the cytoplasm of the red blood cell, which is mainly H2O. And then when it dissolves to it, when CO2 dissolves in water, you form carbonic acid. And this step requires an enzyme to, to speed up and also to make the reaction to be, uh, to be, uh, to be a complete reaction instead of a reversible reaction. And then carbonic acid you require an enzyme. And then carbonic acid will dissociate into bicarbonate ion and hydrogen ion. So the first step here is that the um, carbon dioxide carry in the rubber cell and then bicarbonate ion dissolve in plasma as carbonic acid and then more CO2 can dissolve in, in plasma so the idea is that uh, we want to produce more 
bicarbonate ion so the bicarbonate ion can go into the um, blood the plasma why because we as i mentioned before we need bicarbonate ion to make the blood become a buffer to resist the changes of ph therefore uh, we want to uh, have we want to you take more bicarbonate ion in the into the blood so um, that's it for today's lecture about acid base and buffer um, i'll see you next time